Benny Rodriguez is highlighted here. And he'll join the AAA squad as an injury replacement. Not only that, but he'll be starting today as well. Yeah, he's got to look at it like he's not just merely a warm body to use off the bench. He's got to see it as an opportunity to show the organization what he can do. He might make it impossible for them to keep him down. And then you never know what can happen. Before you know it, he could be playing in the show. And that's how this business works. If you play well and help a team win, they're going to find a spot for you. Okay, we're looking forward to this one. Lineups and first pitch on the show coming up next. Hey, what is going on, guys? Clickwood here, back again, bringing you guys another episode of the Benny Rodriguez story here on MLB 15, the show. Guys, we have been called up to the AAA level, as you just saw. Unfortunately, it's as an injury replacement, which means that, of course, our spot in the lineup is not guaranteed by any means. We've got to make sure that we make plays, don't screw up, things like that. And this is our very first opportunity here in the field, and we are going to make the throw over there to first base. A little bit low on that throw, but, you know, overall, still not a bad play to start things off here. Now, first at bat comes in the bottom of the third. I think we're hitting ninth in the order. So, I mean, obviously they don't have great trust in us quite yet, despite the fact that we completely raked at the AA level. So we're going to have to show them, I guess. We're going to have to show these coaches that not only are we going to kick ass at the AA level, but once we get that call up to the AAA level, we are going to dominate here as well. But on a swing like that, we're not going to look very good. That one is low and just completely off the, the mark. So now we're at an 0-2 count, and we are going to hold off on this one. I wanted to swing at that. I'm not even going to lie, even though it was just a horrible pitch. When you get 0-2 in a count in this game, for some reason, you're just like, I need to swing at everything. So I don't know, but I was able to hold off of that one and this one. Bring it to an even count now at 2-2. Two and two. Still doing pretty well on holding off on the majority of the horrible pitches, but still from time to time, I'm going to swing at some ugly stuff. Right here, we're going to get good contact here on a pitch that we called for, and it's going to fly out there to right field. So we didn't get a, we didn't get a hit, but we made good contact, so it wasn't the end of the world. Decent at bat. Now we're back out in the field, and look at this play. A running throw. Epic, epic throw there by the Jet, and he is going to throw that guy out at first base. I felt pretty good about that one. I mean, I had to make a play on the run as well as picking it up and throwing it on target. So that's pretty damn good. Now, bottom of the fifth here, we're down one to two, 73 pitches in for this pitcher. So we're trying to make sure that we aren't going to go out easily here, but we're still going to come out swinging on that one. Go down 0-1 in the count, and then we're going to go down 0-2 in the count. Two pitches over the plate, so I kind of had to swing at both of them there, but we weren't able to make contact on either of them. So that brings up now, like I said, an 0-2 count here with no runners on or anything, and ugh. Yeah, I'm just going to swing at that ugly pitch in the dirt. I wanted to try and hold off on it, but like I said before, I just have such a tough time when I'm down 0-2 in the count. And right here, we are going to turn a double play in the field. So we screw up there at the plate, but we do make a nice play in the field to get that double play. So it's not all bad, but we do need to get on base. We had a huge run of just tons of, of games in a row where we got hits at the double A level. We haven't quite been able to get it done yet at the triple A level here in this first game. Bottom of the seventh, runner on first base, down two runs. So this is a big at bat. We're going to get big contact on it. Driving it out to left field, and oh, it's going to be caught at the warning track. So again, no hit for us in this one. Damn, man. It's so frustrating when you just can't quite get it done, and that's kind of how it happened there. Uh, we could have tied that game up with a home run. If it would have went like an extra five feet, we tie this game up, and we're the hero. But unfortunately, it is another out. So this is our final at-bat of the game here, bottom of the ninth. And I'm swinging at ugly stuff again. I don't know what my deal was in this game. I don't know if it was my own nerves or what, playing at the AAA level. I have no idea. But again, guys, we, we're down here 1-0 in the count. We tied up there to a 1-1 count. There's two outs here in the bottom of the ninth, but we have to get on base or this game is over. And not only that, but our hitting streak would be over as well. And we're going to ground a terrible hit here right in front of the catcher. And he throws it over the first baseman's head. And we're going to get in there for what it ends up basically being a double. They counted it as a base hit and then an error. How about that, guys? He just tallied his first hit in AAA. A nice moment as we see the ball being tossed into the dugout there. Yeah, that's very exciting for him. No doubt about it. But as a minor leaguer, your goal is to be a major leaguer. So while he'll take this knock, he's got to keep his eye on the ultimate prize, the show. So there you have it, guys. Our first hit is kind of ugly, but we'll at least take it. 
Unfortunately, though, we're not going to be able to get home as the next batter up pops out there foul, and that is going to end the game, guys. We do walk away with a loss in this first game at the AAA level. Again, I had the opportunity to be the hero earlier in the game, just couldn't come up in the clutch. So we are going to lose our first game. Let's get into the second game, though. I think that we might have a better chance here in this one. Uh, hopefully, we go up against a pitcher that somebody, you know, we might be able to hit a little bit easier. For some reason, that guy, I just could not get a piece of. Like, every time that he pitched it, I just wasn't getting a good eye on it. I wasn't able to find the pitch and really determine where it was going to be going. I really, really think, though, in this game, we might have a better opportunity because a lot of times it's just an individual pitcher that I have a problem with. So here we go, guys. Batting leadoff in this one here in the bottom of the first inning. First at bat of the game. We are going to ground this one past the shortstop there, and we are going to get in for our second single here at the AAA level. So that was pretty nice. First pitch, we get the, the hit, and uh, we're on base here. So now we can see if we can try and make things happen on the base paths here. Next batter got a hit, and we are going to take off after that over to third base. We get the double steal. It works out in our favor, guys. We steal third base and second base. Both runners went on that pitch, and we are going to get in there pretty easily. That really wasn't even that close. He didn't even get the tag down even close to us, so we are in there with a big steal there after the hit. So now we've got two guys in scoring position, and this one is going to ground out here to first base, and he is going to throw it over the top of the first baseman's head, and we are going to score a run there. Excuse me, I think I said that it got grounded out to first base. I think it was the second baseman that made that play, obviously. Uh, so yeah, anyway, we do score the first run of the game. Also, the other guy scored as well, so we are going to get in there with two runs here in the bottom of the first now bottom of the second, down 0-1 in the count, and oh man, we almost got a big piece of that one. That could have been driven out of the park. Down 0-2 now, a guy on first base with two out here, so we basically, we've got to get a double at least to probably drive this guy home, uh, but hopefully we can at least get on base here, and oh, we're going to hit that one foul. Could have gotten a good piece of that one as well. I don't know what this guy's deal is. He's kind of leaving things up a little bit, so I'm just hoping and praying that he's going to leave up another one and that we can get a big piece of it because that would be huge to hit a home run. Nearly struck out there. I don't know how I held off on that one. That one probably could have been even called a strike if the umpire was just feeling a little bit frisky on the day. So thankfully, he didn't call that one a strike. Next pitch is going to be out and away, so we are going to have this count now up at a 2-2. So we're not doing too bad here. We're holding off on some pitches. We got a hit in our first at bat. We stole a base. We got home. And now we've got an opportunity here. And we are going to get a piece of this one driving out to left field. I think they moved the outfielders to the right for some reason against me. I don't know what the deal is with that. But he was not in place to make that pit play at all in left field. And we are going to get in there for our second hit of the day. Now up again here in the bottom of the fifth. We couldn't really do anything on the base pass last time. The opportunity just really wasn't there. So we're up again here in the bottom of the fifth. Up 2-1 currently still in the game. So looking pretty good after that first inning where we got home and got the other guy home as well. But we've got to try and extend this lead if we can here. Same pitcher is still up here in the bottom of the fifth. He hasn't really been hit too hard by anybody else. We're two for two in the game. But uh, the other guys just for some reason are not making good contact on this guy. 1-1 one, one count again here. At least we're not popping out right away and we're not striking out easily like we did in the last game. So hopefully we can continue to do that here as we take another pitch there. 86 miles per hour on the changeup away on that one. Just waiting for that pitch to go right down the middle. And this one is going to be down and away again. I think that was another changeup. So we've got him now in a 3-1 situation here. He's got to throw strikes if he wants to try and get me out. So we're waiting for that pitch, waiting for the fastball. We get it, and we are going to ground this one through between the third baseman and the shortstop for our third hit of this game. Huge, huge play for us. We're three for three in this one after struggling in our first game. Back on the base paths now. And this guy, again, I don't know what the deal is. He just has a super long delivery. So look at this. We're going to take off, and we're almost halfway there by the time he even throws the ball. Easy, easy steal. I love going against these pitchers who have these long deliveries because we take second, and then we're going to take third as well in the same at-bat, getting us into scoring position one more time in this one. Take a look at this stolen base once, once again because he's going to throw this thing, and look at how close this is. It's not even really that close. We're in there again. That is our third stolen base of this game. 
unfortunately, the batters just could not come up in the clutch. So we are going to not score once again. But we got into scoring position, so that's pretty decent. Now, playing in the field, this is probably one of the first times that I've actually had an opportunity to be involved in a stolen base tag out situation. And we do make the play. We got over there in time and look at this throw by the catcher. Really, really great throw. And he pretty much put it right on the money for us to be able to tag out that runner. It was pretty darn close, but we did make the play. So that was pretty nice. Felt pretty good about that one. I've made pretty good plays in the play uh, in the field so far, I have to admit. And we're going to make another one here as we throw it over again. Easy play to first base. Looking very, very good in the field. I haven't made an error in quite some time. So I think maybe just even increasing my throwing attributes by a little bit has really helped me a lot in the field. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. Now, up again here in the bottom of the seventh, and we are going to drive this one to deep left field. Is it going to be gone? No, it is not. It's going to be caught by the left fielder. Unfortunately for us, we do not get a home run there, but we're still at three hits in this game, so that's not too bad. Up now again here in the bottom of the eighth, two runners on here with one out, 4-1 lead right now. We have an opportunity to extend this one and really just put this game away if we can get a big hit here. Pretty much a single should probably score the runner from second base, but we do want to do our best here to try and drive home even another runner, so it'd be nice to get a double. If you look over at that guy on first base, he has decent speed. It's not anything spectacular, but it's decent enough that if we get a double, he will probably score as well. So that's what we're going to be looking to do here, and we almost got our pitch there, but it was a little bit too far up and in, and we are going to take our second strike of the at-bat. Down 1-2 in the count now. Again, guys, this is actually a different pitcher now, so uh, we're not going to... If we get on base, we're probably not going to be stealing anymore. We'll have to see what his delivery looks like. But uh, to me, I probably am looking at this guy and seeing how he's pitching. Probably not going to try and steal again if we do get on. But he is going to pitch one right down the middle to us. And we get a good piece of it driving it out to right field. Unfortunately, it is going to be caught by the right fielder. But the guy from second base took off, took third, and then got all the way home on tagging up. That was awesome. I have no idea. I haven't seen that in this game yet where a guy actually goes from second base all the way home on a tag up. So we do get an RBI for that one. That is just freaking crazy. So that's our first RBI, I believe, of this season at the AAA level. And we get the final out there by making the catch at the shortstop position. So we're going to walk away with a win here. We go one and one in our first two games here at the AAA level. Looking pretty good so far. We made good contact on a lot of pitches. Got three hits in the second game. Got a hit in the first game as well. So two hits here in two games. Not looking too bad here at the AAA level. Kind of, you know, a little bit slower than what we were doing at the AA level, but still decent enough. Hopefully, they'll keep us up here in AAA because, man, I do not want to get pushed down to, to AA again. There's not really much for us to do there. We were pretty much just killing the ball at the AA level. Probably going to win whatever the MVP award is at the AA level if we stick there. But I don't want to sit there all season. I want to go up to AAA, and I want to even have an opportunity, if I can, to get to the major leagues. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.